In this video, we're going to be tracking this um, snowstorm. Um, I really do think someone's going to see a jackpot. I have listened to other weather people. I've listened to Yaki weather. A lot of people saying that this has a very high potential of being an overproducer for some. Um, I'll get into great detail of that, of who I think could see it, who uh, other people think could see it and some energy pieces, and how this can all play off. So, why not? Um, I, I didn't get all my tabs up, but we're going to actually take a look at National Weather Service. So, um, let's just update this and make sure. All right. So, they um, hide that. Let's get Epic Pen up. This is going to be a bit of a longer video today, because... I did not have everything set up, and um, we're going to be talking in great detail of who could see the more snow. In the winter storm warnings, yeah, you can definitely see probably more snow right now. The weather service has it in Philadelphia, Willington, and just, just on the line with um, Trenton. But right now, the best thinking for that five to six inches is just south of Allentown. Southern PA, New Jersey, Maryland, just the county of Maryland, pretty much in these areas could see the greatest amount. I think it, it's going to be a little bit of a wider region, but I think here could definitely see that five to potentially six inches. I wouldn't even be surprised, depending how the storm goes, maybe a rule out a seven or even an eight in this area. I do think right now in the winter weather advisories, pretty much everyone besides over here, um, over here is um, three to four in this region. They have, and then they have two to four down here and i think in the most southern probably like that one to three so that's like the national weather service of thinking and on the northern side of right here is probably thinking of three to five so right here it's thinking maybe of pretty much three to five inches so that's the national weather service count on things winter storm warnings being the most i wouldn't be surprised tomorrow throughout the storm they do move that up even more north just depending on how the snow bands are that's gonna be a very big question how does the atlantic right where i just draw this line in x how much does that play a, play in a role in this and does some of this become late effect because when i show you the models this can actually become in some late effect form towards the end of this so let's get into this and let's get with the models all right actually w, let's go wpc probabilities what they're thinking my bad i'm sorry um for one inch i mean if you're in the darkest color you're looking at 95 to 100 percent. that is just north of allentown but either way you guys are in the red that's 90 to 95 so pretty much going to happen at this point you can never say 100 percent, but New York City, you guys are under that um, for that at least an inch. But let's take it to two inches. Two inches, pretty much, if you're in the orange, you guys are having 80 and 90% of seeing that. 70 to 80, actually 80 to 90 percent. Um, seeing that at least two inches, lighter blue, 70, 80, and as you keep going down, the press percentages. If you're in the Appalachians, pretty much 95 to 100% of seeing at least two or more inches. Now we're going to take a look at Ford. We looked at this yesterday, and now let's see. So pretty much nothing has changed. That They did grow the 40 to 50%. Still very south. Um, I think that could be a little bit more north on my side of things, but I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with that. 
where the Allentown area is, you guys are under that 20 to 30 percent. And just south of Allentown and Reading, you guys are seeing a 30 to 40 percent. Could this be more, I think, a little bit more north? Yes, but we'll see. Um, for six inches, yesterday was only that yellow. Let's see about today. Today for six inches, pretty much no one. They don't believe in six on the probability. So, I I mean, I don't know. It could, it could not. I don't know. All right. Now let's take a look at the Hurt model. We're going to be taking a look at some of the models. Um, the Zero Z and actually the Zero O two Z is pretty much it. The storm is already starting to congeal. I'll probably show you guys radar if I have time after um, I am done. But there's that main low that does develop off the coast. Um, this is that main low, but we will have a secondary low to probably form more close to the coast and bring that impact. But um, very likely seeing that back end um, low right here. How strong is that? It's going to really depend on how the precip really plays evolve. I will say right now it's doing a pretty good job. Pretty much everyone sees a light to moderate event, if you guys are in blue. A bit more heavier as you get into where I'm about to circle, right into these areas right here with the snow band. Definitely more on the heavier side. Um, you could definitely tell that's a low pressure too because – you got a little bit of a warm sector too. So there's that like cold front. There's that low. You got that back end spin. And then you got a little out ahead of it. But this will congeal into something off the coast. Um, how strong are these lows is still a question. It, it's a very tricky forecast. And it's going to be very interesting. But as you continue, the low pretty much, um, you, you get this feeling of okay i don't know so you got a low all the way off the east coast right this proof is not but the low that was back here starts to transfer just off the new jersey coast how quickly does that happen how strong does that happen and that and like i said could help to enhance some of the moisture from the atlantic towards the east coast you tell along the East Coast right here of a little bit of a heavier bands, but that's because of that low pressure forming. That could help to throw back more moisture into Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York. And it's going to be some good questions of when does the snow start tapering down? How much moisture can this squeeze out? What's the snowfall rates are like? All right. that Those are still questions I really don't think we're going to fine tune in that anymore for you it, it's such it's just a very hard forecast but we continue throughout the hours and some of that heavy snow actually starts making its way um more north you know even a few more hours i mean you're still snowing pretty good the low main low is all the way back here you've got a secondary low right here um, and you still got a little bit of a weakening low right here. So what that's doing is it's pretty much helping to bring all... We got these lakes, right? These lakes are still warm. They're not the coldest. And these are actually, you can tell as the snow lands back in here, the bands that come off when the snow starts tapering down, they're going to be more in like snow squalls probably. So we have to watch out for some heavier bands in um, on the radar tomorrow afternoon. Then you got that low off the coast. That's actually going to be helping to advance moisture this way. So you're going to have probably bands coming on this side while you got late effect bands coming on this side. So I do think if you are in one of those heavier bands, you're going to see a bit more snow than you are forecasting. All right. But we're going to continue here and you tell you just go out to 15 17 hours from now and pretty impressive and still you got moisture you still got some moderate just heavy snow bands but look what happens things start lightning but look what starts to happen 
you got these little bands in here of darker blue scatter all in Pennsylvania and stuff. These bands are probably very heavy bands. I wouldn't even lie with you. These are probably coming off the lakes, enhanced with the winds, and that's going to help um, add up to the totals. And you got precip coming off the coast, so you're going to have bands coming from the east coast and bands coming from the late effect. That is very possible to bring up your totals. Um, but that this ain't even fully out, and it's looking pretty good to me. All right. Let's just get that last hour. So we look at that last hour, and yeah, pretty nice. Those bands continue to move. We still got light to moderate snow. The low continues to move off. But if we just look at total snow accum accumulations um, at this given time, many areas seeing two plus inches. I think things could be a bit more, in my opinion, but I'm not the one make the forecast with the models. But um, another thing that's going to help is the winds are going to be pretty calm throughout this. Um, but definitely that back side is definitely going to start kicking off. So those bands that do come could have some gustier winds in them, and probably be a blowing drifting measure this weekend all right so now let's just take a look at the zero z and pretty much same thinking the low keeps going this forms we get that and then those bands continue to form out and there it is that is the storm total snow accumulations on this not too much only two three maybe four inches i personally think the models have been doing underdoing this what I've seen of how it looks, definitely going to be quite a bit. Now we're going to look at the NAM. The NAM is a nice model too. There's the low. Starts to crank up off the East Coast. But look what's a little bit more different. We got a little closer one and we got a little farther one. And we got a low back over here. So we got two lows here. We got a low there. So a lot of moisture coming off the Atlantic, and we got a lot already moisture over here. So definitely some heavier snowfall rates. Um, really going to depend. I think by midnight, we're really going to start seeing this storm take place and developing because it's going to be interesting. But you can tell that continues to move. Those two loads become one. We got a weaker low all the way back over here, helping to bring in this moisture along the coast and then you got a polar vortex coming down south too with some gustier winds so that's going to help to make this into a late effect too so we need to watch out how the radar really looks especially as the later afternoon tomorrow is going to be a very big question um Let's just keep going, and boom. You can tell as we go into the next frame, pretty much what happens, main low, all, let's just shrink that, let's do that. Main low all the way back in here, secondary low right here. So that helps to just bring in more moisture, and you can definitely tell a moderate to heavy snow event once again, the late effect snow is going to be a big problem um, behind it and a few days even after it, I do think. Um, but we continue. Low continues to pretty much crank. And then by Saturday night, that starts going. But definitely some late effect snow bands. So let's be careful on that. And then definitely for your Saturday and Sunday, more late effect snow potentially. Another inch or two snow squalls. But we'll have to really watch what happens, all right? Total snow accumulations, not impressive at all, I would like to say. You know, I, I really think the models have been doing underdoing it. Even some of the weather people have been saying, I, they're thinking it's underdue. But three, four, five inches. Um... We look at the NAM model, 
definitely looking quite snowy here. Quite a bit of snow. There's the storm. Some heavier snow bands. And then you see that late effect snow and the bands off the coast. So now we're going to take a look at the wrap model. And that is showing... Quite a bit of accumulations right there. Um, definitely quite a bit of snow. Um, I think the models are just doing underdoing it a bit. I, I, I have a gut feeling they are. And that's not just my opinion. That's other people's opinion. There's the Euro. Pretty much three plus inches. Definitely possible. GFS on the same realm of it. Yo, know, two to three inches. Pretty much all the models saying two to three inches. Why they're going a little bit more? The reason is because of we had this type of setup before and things were different. All right. The sheriffs, the mean of all models have went down like crazy. You know, only seeing an average of two inches. In Allentown, and just south of there, you know, three. So, the mean of all miles, I don't know. But it's a very tricky storm. It's a very tricky forecast. And we'll have to wait and see how this continues to evolve throughout tonight. We look at, mm, let's just take a look at. United States, the short wave. Let's look at some of the cloud tops and see what is going on with the beginning of the storm. There's the low quietly forming right there. There's that low starting to, you know, gain some strength here. How can I tell that? Because you're starting to see some rotation in the clouds. You're seeing a low form back over here. You're starting to see that southerly winds come up here and then that back end right there. That's how I know it's a beginning signs of a low pressure forming. That's going to continue to move. How strong does that get? How weak does it enter? And um, when it does cross... Is it further out when it transfers, or is it closer to the coast, or is it in the middle, or is it farther north, south? Those are questions that we have to wait and see. But we let this play out. You definitely see where it's kind of moving right now, pretty much straight east. Um, as of right now, if this did to leave the east coast if it did make it low will be there forecast will be like here so let's say if it does leave off the coast here and it's still some strength then yes we're gonna maybe see it's just a bit more moisture we'll have to wait and see um questions questions they remain of uncertain right now um, let's take a look at the long wave. How is the convection, I guess? I mean, the convection is not really a big thing, but I mean, I guess with the moisture. And then I do want to actually take a look at another thing I, I forgot. But you definitely tell the snow is enhancing over here back in the lakes. The beginning of the development, those yellows, probably oranges and reds are going to start showing up, but... Strengthening storm is key as of right now. Um, a thing I would like to show is um, the name, I guess. I mean, we can look at some of the models on it. It's the 500 millibar vort and wind. So... This is pretty much the energy in the atmosphere. And if you're north, south of it, it it's going to be pretty important. Or even on it. But 
there it is as the storm comes. Definitely some snow bands, but the main piece is going to be in this. And we have to watch out. How far does this piece of energy become north? How much energy is in the atmosphere? Could mean some higher snowfall rates. But that's a little bit on the southern side right now, all the way down here. So we'll have to wait and see at that point. But let's just take a look. Um, That's that back end. That's what I figured. That back end. So probably that back end with the, some of those heavier snowfall rates. But you tell Nam like the low to do something like that. Definitely possible. But we need to watch out with some of those late effect snow bands. Those are going to be late effects hands. And those are going to have a big deal. But, um... Snowfall, to snowfall totals as of right now, um, of what people are seeing in the storm. Put that low just a second. Um, um. Definitely some new totals are definitely coming out. You got two back in here. You got a few f threes, um, three, 2.4, three back in there. We don't got any snow reports over here yet. Some more snowfall reports. Came from the Buffalo snow event. We're at 37. Maybe. I thought I saw a 37 inch snowfall report. In the last 24 hours. That's going to be odd. It was like a 50 over here. Yeah. 50.9. That's crazy. Almost 51 inches. But. We'll have to continue to look out the morning. Comes. Alright, let's look at, um, um, what's another thing? Oh, oh, my snowfall map. That's a huge thing of what I'm thinking. So, let me go to bookmarks. My drive. I I'm sorry, I did not have the tab up. I, I completely forgot, but it's going to be on this. What I'm thinking. I'm thinking. To be honest with you, it's going to be a five to three event. I know it's saying, I think I agree with the National Weather Service. I know the models are lower, but what I've seen in the past, it's definitely possible. Um, I don't even think this is slides. No, it is definitely not. Um, oh, it's in my winter weather, my bad. Oh, yeah. Is it in my recents? Very long. Yeah, it's this. Alright. My bad. I am very sorry about that. But, let that load. Alright, let's get the snow. Let's go. Alright. So, this was actually what I'm thinking. So, uh, I'm thinking. Hmm. I have to definitely fix that. Um, so I'm thinking of right now.
think mm, I'm definitely going to do something like that. That's a good thinking. It's I'm thinking this is probably more like a three to five. So I'm gonna probably make everything like mm. I think here's gonna be nice. Here. Here. And I think I think right now this will be one of the spots to see three to five. I am gonna put um I think some right here. I'm gonna put another What's the second color right there? We're gonna make that an eight. So we're gonna put definitely. I'm gonna go with this. Is probably I'm putting this for the snow because I think this is gonna be a little bit more lake enhanced up here. So I'm going with that. Um, I think. That is going to be another yellow, or I mean lighter blue, my bad. I think it's going to be, a darker blue, with a 4 to 6 inches. I'm going to actually probably make that just a little bit more south. Just, yeah. I'm not going to go. I think if you're just on Allentown or so, that's definitely possible. I think this is your four to six. Potentially a seven, eight is wouldn't be rolled out. Um, I think three to five is pretty good here. I say in the lighter blue. Okay, let me start making this text box here. So one, two, three is the this is the one to three. I think that one to three is very likely if you're in the lighter blue colors, the darker, I mean darker, the second shading of blue. That's three to five inches. If you guys are in the darker blue, I'm seeing maybe four to six inches with some, potentially a few people could see up to a seven or even an eight report. Just depends how the storm goes. Could this be wrong? Yes, but this is the latest thinking what I'm thinking. I'm probably going to make a shorts on it of the forecast. So stay tuned. Um, if I do tweet in the morning, I will let you know, but, um, that is my snowfall forecast and I'll probably see you guys.